<laughs> Looks like things are coming together. Yeah. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? But Lewis isn't here. See that? <laughs> it's like Lewis in a box. Come on, I'll show you how it works. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. I was thinking something uplifting, like, we're gonna get through this. Just trying to instill some confidence, you know? See you on the other side. That's what Clem says to me sometimes when she needs me to be brave. Well, I think we all need some of that right now. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. So you take one of those black things that look like plates and you put it on here. And then it plays music? Uh-huh. And now you just have to turn that crank on the side. Huh, that's really cool. Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Just tell me what you want to listen to. Um, maybe something country? That's my favorite. <laughs> Shocker. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Rim gets natural moonlight, so something to compliment that, maybe? Let's deck this place out in green. Ruby's favorite color. I'll make it happen. This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Hey, Clem, check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. I don't want to uh, discourage you, but we're going to be on that boat to rescue the others. Please, don't get us killed. What? No! I mean, yeah, I still have a few details to work out, but don't worry. I'll make sure there's time for you to get off the boat before she explodes. Trust me, this will work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. And, um, Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how he treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle. I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, ah, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it something cool. 
I mean, I think it deserves a name. All the best bombs have names. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. How about Mitch's masterpiece? Yeah, I like that. Mitch would have too. Okay, then it's settled. <laughs> I found them. Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Erickson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And all the bad shit we did that kept them from sending us back home. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Um, that pretty much describes everyone in this room. <laughs> You've got a point. I never curse. He doesn't. That's Ruby's file. <laughs> Holy shit, really? Guilty as charged. Yeah, and you should have seen Ruby back in the early days. She was like, uh, you ever seen those Tasmanian devil cartoons when you were a kid? <laughs> that was our Ruby. He used to have a mean streak a mile long. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Willie, please, no. Monic masturbation. Trust me. Nobody wanted to know that. What does that mean? Uh-uh, don't you dare. Uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? I like all kinds of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. How many? I don't know. A lot. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Break out the jazz. how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar? Aaron, yeah, I used to make fun of her braces. Why did I do that? Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Whose is it? Lewis. Should we read it? I could tell you why I was sent here instead. You know, as a consolation prize or whatever. You might hate me after, but since we're all being so open and all. I was hoping you'd tell me. I spent a lot of time at my grandma's house growing up, what with my dad being a drunk and my mom working three jobs. But after my grandpa died, grandma just kind of shut down. Spent all day and night rocking in her little chair in the den. 
and I'd sit there at her feet as we both watched TV. Mostly cartoons, since she never seemed to care. Sometimes I could hear her crying, but I didn't look back. I'd just feel really weird and turn up the volume, you know? Anyway, one day she left the den and came back with another chair and a 22 rifle. Set the rifle butt on the top of the chair, holding the barrel back to her chest. So, you know, she had trouble reaching the trigger this way, but she must have known it would happen because she took out this really tacky wooden back scratcher. The real long kind with the one end shaped like a hand and uh, used that to push the trigger in. So yeah, bang, right? Her body folded up and just kept rocking. My mom came to get me five hours later. I hadn't moved. She asked why I didn't call the police or an ambulance or anything. I just shrugged and told her it wasn't like grandma was going anywhere. And besides, I just wanted to finish my cartoons. She shipped me off to Erickson the next day. I was 11. I'm so sorry, Violet. I can't imagine what that was like, what you went through. It's fine. We've just been through a lot of shit. We weren't good people, Clementine. But it still doesn't mean that we should have been left here to die by the people that were supposed to take care of us. Sorry, this is supposed to be fun. I'm, I'm just not the game type, like Lewis was, I guess. You mean is. We'll see him soon. Ten's right. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Too bad I can't play it. Lou would have known how. He liked that one. You could just sing it to us, like she used to. Your voice is really pretty. Okay. Okay, yeah. All right, I, uh... I can do that.
Hey, sweet pea. Lee? Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? <sighs> Couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. You kinda had to think on your feet. Monsters took over the world, and you got stuck taking care of an eight-year-old girl. You were a handful, but I didn't get stuck with anything. You kept me going. You want to tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now, and I've been in so many. And they always fall apart, but I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. Yeah, I made it this far, didn't I? You sure did, when a lot of other people couldn't. Never give in, Clem. Imagine what Lewis is gonna say when he sees your face. Those boys are gonna have hope again knowing that you came to rescue him. <sighs> oh, Sweet Pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Out. And safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. If you know of any. Lee? I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanted to give him a childhood, but... Knowing what it takes to survive now. It was easier for me since the world was just changing. But you're living in one that's... changed completely. You doing okay? <laughs> oh my god, Lee. 
AJ's trouble sometimes. You wouldn't believe it. And he has no idea. He's growing up too fast. <laughs> Sounds like someone else I know. city you know I told you to avoid those they don't no one goes into the cities anymore it's an old boarding school in the woods miles from anywhere with no adults at all no adults it works I promise time to go Clementine you've got people that need you Goodbye, Lee. Clem, wake up. It's time to go. We got a long walk. we're really doing this only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves now we just need your walker friend is to... here good lord uh, hello guys this is James he's my friend he's uh so cool how do you get the skin like that uh, oh I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please. Willie, quiet. Someone might hear you. Loud is bad. I'm not even being that loud. Sorry. I'll be quiet. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. I, uh, uh, hey. Hey there, James. Sorry about Willie. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd marry? <laughs> yeah. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Hold tight. Hey, Tank, can you come talk for a sec? There's something I have to tell you. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Your friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Like you. That's not usually how my first impressions go. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. It's just... being welcomed. It's strange. That one boy called me cool. Not sure anyone's ever said that to me. You know, they could be your friends too. I know you didn't want to come into the school before, but now that you've met them... I haven't lived with people in a long time. But... It does sound nice. Let me think about it. I wanted to show you something. 
This is... was my boyfriend, Charlie. We joined the Whispers together. But it changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. It changed both of us. What do you mean? The Whispers were my family. From a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison. And I believed in that fiercely. So much so that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. I didn't talk to him. Didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember his name. All I knew was someone like him would only slow us down. That was enough of a reason for me. What's your point, James? After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. No one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself. When he said it was the right thing to do. Taking life like that from a young age, it breaks something inside you. It broke something in Charlie. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. Being ruthless is what's kept him alive. That's all that matters. And if history remains true, it'll be what gets him killed. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. Take care of AJ. Okay, he's ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Dan, take care of the supplies. I've got the bomb. Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. <sighs> See you all on the other side. I'll cut it open. Violet told me about Minnie. That Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just... If you see her out there, tell her... Tell her I forgive her. Please. I tell her myself, but... I just want her to be okay. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Thanks. Hey, it's time. We gotta move. Clem? What happens if someone else gets caught while we're in there? What if it's you? I couldn't save Minnie or Lou or the Sim. Omar. You saved me from these people. In a way, you've saved most of us. And if something happened to you, and it was my fault... I can't lose you too. I won't.
You better not disappear on me, okay? Okay. Are we good? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's bring our friends back home. All of them. All of them. It's ready. So, I know this is gonna sound gross, but... Covering your smell. <laughs> Smart. Get my back. Thanks. We gonna do it? We're doing it. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. chance we can't risk leaving cover but we'll have to crawl along the side of the dock the guts are washing off Stay close. Stay hidden. Hurry! Ready, AJ? 
Walkers! Getting close. After we find the boiler and place the bomb, we'll get our friends out. Minnie said they keep prisoners on the second deck. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Right behind you. Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? I can see the boiler. City name. Step out here slowly. way in. Wait here. Go, Mitch's masterpiece. Bury this thing in the bottom of the river. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. Let's hurry up then.
Minerva, focus. Yes, ma'am. I, I have a little brother, just a short, scarred face. See? He's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. She had to be the cell guard. We can't sneak past her. Get out. Not without our people. I swear to God, if you got Ten caught up in this, just, just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. He forgives you. <sighs> Shit. I'll help you get everyone out. Then you take my brother and run. Get him back to where it's safe. Come on, we have to hurry. Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god, are you okay? Doesn't look hurt. I... Uh, yeah, I'm all right. We're all right. Take care of Lewis first. He's... he's in rough shape. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Dorian comes back. Violet, help me with these guys. Got it. Lewis! What the fuck are you doing? Please. Don't no. fucking point that at me! You mean Violet? Don't Shut test me! Shit. Minnie, let us go! No! These bastards pay for this. I promise you, Lewis. <laughs> Shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> You'll be home soon. I'll get us out of here. I promise. Looks like there's a gap here. <sighs> Too small to fit my hand through. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! <sighs> Thank God. Shit. 
At least we're not moving yet. We've still got time to figure this out. Vi, are you all right? I'm fine. Looking for a way out. If this thing explodes... You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. How you holding up? I can't talk. If Lily... She told us not to talk. We'll be home soon. Just hang in there. Omar, are you hurt? I... Fuck. I just want to go home. We will. Okay. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it. They must have taken away my knife. AJ! Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. We're not staying here that long. Whatever you doing, don't. I promise you, it ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'll take it from here. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck. You little monster. Damn it! That was my call. I killed him myself. Back up. Minerva, open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organize these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. Look, if I'm the one you want, let the others go. This isn't a negotiation. This is me telling you how things are going to be. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, 
I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. Well, I guess asshole runs in the family. Is that the consequence? That you're an asshole? The consequence is, I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults, but he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the parable of the twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They needed help fighting or they'd lose everything they built, their crops, their power, even their lives. Kidnapping people and forcing them to fight? Sounds like slavery to me. Call it whatever you want. They were helping each other survive. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. What the Jesus fuck? Jesus Christ. Minnie, no, tell me it's not true. Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one or the dead one? What have you done to her head, you fucking psychotic bitch? You're evil! You are fucking evil! Y'all better back away from the door. All right, Lily, you made your point. I'll do what you want. What? No! You can't become a soldier in their army. Just don't hurt anyone else. Good. I'm surprised to hear you bend so easily. But as I said before, this isn't a negotiation. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Violet, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo. You better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck no! Get off of me! Uh, Easy. Uh, Stay still. Shit. Fuck you, no! Uh, uh, Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Come on. Just breathe. AJ, no! Fuck no, no, no! <laughs> You think you can kill me? I know I can! 
We'll throw you in the river, and we'll put a knife right to the side of your head. Big talk for a little guy. <sighs> I know I can do it. I killed Marlin, and I was justified. Bang. So you killed Marlin. I bet you'd make a great soldier. Leave him alone. This is between us. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on, let's go have a chat. Just us. <laughs> you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clem inside! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Don't. Don't you dare look at me like that. This is the only way we survive. Who are you? Fuck survival! Look at what you're doing! Minnie, please. I just want to talk to you for a second. I'm sorry we never searched for you, for Sophie. I'm sorry we trusted that fucker, Marley. If I ever thought there was a chance... I know. I know, okay? But Sophie's dead. You all need to understand. This is the only way. Lay down, stay in line, or you die. The people you love die. If you just do what they say, you can live. All of you, you can have a nice life. Be rewarded, just like I am. Go. I can't... I can't leave her. Go, I'll catch up. Clem, come on! We have to get the hell out of here. Go, I need to find AJ. Better see you on land. You will. Focus that energy. Sharpen it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. You'll come around too, once you see what we have to offer. Plenty of food, comfortable beds for you and Clem. You'll come around you can even too, share a once room. you see what we have to offer. From one Plenty more of food, sneaking comfortable with beds for you and Clem. You can even... Tin! Fuck. Tennessee, did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. This way. Found this in the herd. <clears throat> no wonder there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leaving those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say. You don't fucking scare me. Is that so? You force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. 
I give my people a cause to fight for. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. Kill it. No! Fuck! Easy there, Ten. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shoot her! Why don't we all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or, or else. Fine. Go ahead, then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? <coughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry. Tim. <laughs> Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please, don't! No! Shit, the bomb! 